and the ferrets are going to be obnoxiously making noise this entire time. <laughs> Hello, I'm Amber Thest, and it's about to be the two year anniversary of me getting my first tattoo, which happens to be a finger tattoo, this one in particular. Um, the exact anniversary is on the 10th of June, and it is currently the 5th, so that's really cool. Maybe this video will like come out on my two year anniversary of having a tattoo. So let's just get right into uh, what this video is going to be about. So first I'm going to talk about uh, this tattoo and some stuff about that. I know there's a video that I put out in 2017 when I got it, so if you want some more information I'll put it in the card. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to talk about how I heal my tattoos, and especially on my hands. I apologize for the ferrets. <laughs> They're living their best life, so it's okay. And then this is my uh, second finger tattoo. I only have two. Um, and I'll talk about how I healed that one as well and that process. So my first tattoo I got when I was traveling from the state of New York to the state of Washington. Um, so in the middle of a long road trip. <laughs> um, which is kind of convenient because I didn't have to like wash dishes and stuff like that but I was staying in a lot of different hotels and motels and other people's houses and stuff, so I had to have like a pretty succinct routine for taking care of my tattoo while it was so fresh. <laughs> and I'll overlay some pictures of like when I got it and what it looked like throughout its healing stages. It started out looking like extremely crisp like I was like this doesn't look real but it looks really cool <laughs> it was it was really fun and those scabs stayed on for a while and then as you can see they start coming off and it looks all flaky and stuff lovely oh my god so it looked really crisp and perfect while right after I had gotten it for a while of course um, and it has settled in looking a bit more patchy um, I could have gotten it touched up when I went to get this other one last year, but I decided to wait on my touch-up for a little while. I know that finger tattoos and hand tattoos in general will wear differently than, like, these ones. These ones will probably be alright for a longer time, <laughs> but especially having it on my right hand, that's my dominant hand, and oh, they'll just get worn. It'll age in a way. <laughs> and I know that. I knew that going in. Uh, my artist even had like all their knuckles tattooed and kind of showed me like how many times different ones had to be gone over in order to look the way that they were at the time she showed me. And so I know that they're gonna wear differently. And I don't know if it's gonna, I'll probably insert some pictures here, but you can see uh, right on the bone it's a little bit bloop. <laughs> and stuff like that. It was very painful, and I also have a needle phobia that I'm working through. <laughs> so I did nearly pass out in the middle of getting this tattoo. It should have taken like 10 to 20 minutes. Really not that long, like, I don't know, maybe even less. <laughs> it is a circle with all these lines. This one took like a few minutes. It was really fast. <laughs> But it took an hour for me to get this from start to finish. But it is more patchy now. There are certain lines that are like really not all the way there. But I really love how it looks regardless. I'm not picky about that and I knew that it would heal weird and it's right on a bone and I have skinny bony fingers. So that's how it looks now. It was really easy to heal actually. And I know that they don't recommend you get a tattoo on your hand for your first one especially because you do a lot of things with your hands. And like I said, I was staying in a lot of different places we were traveling, so it was at a particular risk of getting bumped on things and getting infected, but none of that happened. Um, and I'm going to show you the supplies that I used to heal it. So I actually only used two things. Uh, the first would be the soap that I used to wash it. I got one of these little things so that I could travel with it. And when you push the pump all the way down, you can twist it back in. So then you're not going to make a mess 
with your soap while traveling. So it was easy to throw in my pocket or my bag and use it in restaurants and hotels and everything. Um, that were nice. That worked well. And I didn't need any other soap than that. Um, and then my lotion, which I have currently in this really tiny little jar. It's so cute. But I will leave a link in the description, as I always do when I talk about this lotion, because I love it. It is coconut butter, coconut butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, and coconut oil. And that's it. And it's really lovely. It's perfect for healing tattoos. I've healed all four of mine with it. And I just applied that a little bit. My hands would get a bit more dried out than other places on my body, I think. Like, I'd have to apply it more to this than these ones, I think. So just keeping an eye on it seeing when it's getting really cracked, and then gently applying some lotion. <laughs> so this is, I of course I always like have clean hands when doing this, especially when I'm using it for a tattoo. I'll use like a fresh jar of lotion. This one I have mint in. I don't know, I didn't have it scented for healing tattoos, but I just have mint essential oil is so good. <laughs> but yeah, just take a little bit, not f put the entire glob on it, but just dabbing it on there and like on there. Especially as it got crunchy, just doing little dabbing motions and then it, it's kind of glossy, but because of the oil, like it, it soaks in pretty quickly. And then you can just rub it into your hands and have nicely moisturized hands. Wow. Look at that. Perfect. So that's really all I used for healing my tattoos and I enjoyed having it very simple. Um, like I said, especially because I was on the road the whole time for like a month. Um, <laughs> and when I got to my new place, then it was just easy to continue doing a very simple thing. I couldn't wash dishes when I got here <laughs> um, and stuff like that. So remember, if you're going to get a hand, hand tattoo, know what you're going to be doing for the duration of healing time, which can be several weeks. So if you have a job where you need to have your hand in water a lot, maybe plan it so that you don't have to go to work immediately after getting your tattoo. Stuff like that. Just, it's a very used space. So know what's going on in the time after getting a tattoo. It's not a kind of impulsive placement, I would say. To talk about my second tattoo, that's the one that I had scarring on. It is now completely smooth and flat, but a few months, I'll insert pictures above this, um, a few months after I got it, a couple months, however, whenever it happened, um, the tattoo was raised. Like the entire, the, both X's were completely raised, um, which I know can be normal for a little while, but it stayed for several weeks probably like multiple months because I remember thinking like okay it's been going on for a while is this normal like what's happening it wasn't something that bothered me and I got used to the idea that it might be there forever hello I'm editing and I wanted to talk about the scarring thing that I mentioned because I forgot to mention in the video that it was also really sensitive for a while, while the X's were raised, I think you can see in the picture that it's just the inked portions that were sticking up and they were pretty sensitive. And it was sticking up uh, fairly far, so like you could accidentally scratch it a little bit and it would hurt. Um, and just that whole area was really sensitive, like I'd brush it against stuff and it would, I could feel it. It didn't feel good. So that's why I was mostly concerned about it being scarred. And I did some research. And there's nothing really wrong with that, so if you're experiencing something like that, it'll probably be okay, but talk to your artist if you have any concerns about it, or if it is being particularly sensitive and bothering you, they might be able to help with that. But yeah, now mine is, it the, the scarring or whatever that must have been has gone down and it is no more sensitive than the rest of my fingers, so doing good <laughs> but I really liked it how it was anyway so 
it was totally fine but it did go completely flat again so that was a thing um I just continued you know moisturizing it and everything the scarring was not a problem it it was also pretty even scarring in general at the towards the end and I think like right now there is kind of like the essence of a little bump but it's really not noticeable so we're doing good we're doing good on that healthy happy tattoos some lotion on these ones <laughs> for the second one I also had to do some other things for healing it I I got both of these tattoos in Wisconsin and I have not lived in Wisconsin since I was a child so <laughs> they were both traveling tattoos um, for my exes I got them in September 2018 and I was staying at my friend's house for the week I believe I got this <laughs> towards the end of the week though so at the end of the week I had soap this is a whole nother soap but I also had this kind of soap too so this for my hands and then I used this mainly for my tattoos I did use it as a hand soap when I could but once I started you know traveling to go back home and everything I couldn't really have a wet bar of soap in my bag so this it's all speckly right now looks funky it's kind of like a, a clear translucent soap. This is Neutrogena something something. I'll look it up and put it on the screen for you. But it was a really good like antibacterial soap. So it was easy to use in the shower, on my tattoos, and as a hand soap when I wasn't on the road. And then I still used this lotion. So another thing came into play though. I would go swimming the same month I went traveling again I went on another road trip so I got this um, the beginning of September and by the end of September I was traveling in California with my grandparents <laughs> who did not like my tattoos by the way that was fun but nevertheless I completed my daily tattoo care I showed like hey I really care about these things I'm gonna have to take a minute to take care of the ink inserted into my flesh thank you so a special thing I had to use was Tegaderm which at some point I forgot this at home yeah <laughs> so I I had to be careful of like when I was gonna go swimming because I wanted to make sure that these were completely healed before getting into chlorine and germ covered pool areas um, and this stuff was really good and it did work well on my finger because I know that was something I had this applied to my tattoos with the second round I got all three of these at the same time well on two different days back to back um, but for this one I had like the wrap and paper towel and stuff on there for less than a couple hours and they told me it was very difficult to keep stuff like that on a finger which it is um, but for swimming and stuff I did end up using Tegaderm I just had to cut that piece with some nice clean scissors and it worked really well I just wrap it around my finger make sure it overlaps on the back and it's secure and flat and doesn't like peel up on the ends here if it's if it's into this webbing part of your finger too much then it will roll up and you don't want that so maybe having it slightly wider at the front if it goes down and then cutting the piece so that it wraps around your finger and then it'll just adhere and they'll be good and happy so I was able to go swimming <laughs> and that was nice hmm so that's my two-year tattoo update <laughs> I really liked watching tattoo content and I also like looking back at my own stuff to see how things in my life have progressed and happened. So this is what my tattoos look like right now in 2019. Hmm. And also this t-shirt. This t-shirt is about to have its second birthday. I made it myself. I wore it to a Matchbox 20 concert in 2017. It was amazing. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> I think that's it for this video, and I hope that it was somewhat helpful or enjoyable for you to watch. 
Have a nice day.